Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is FIFA Beetle, and today we have another player review. Today we have 86 Inform Del Hernandez right here. You can see the AC Milan left back, the French left back, standing at six foot tall. He has high medium work rates. He is left footed. He has three star skill moves, three star weak foot. I've played him for nine games, zero goals, and one assist so far. Bought him for around 255k. Uh, this morning Christmas Eve so Merry Christmas to you uh, whoever celebrates it out there you guys hope you guys have a happy holidays uh, but yeah I use this guy's card but I don't use his 86 card I use his 85 uh, UEFA Euro card and I like him just fine he scored a couple goals on uh, for me he's uh, he scored a couple goals for me he has a good heading inside the box during corners he shows up right there and I play him uh, right here with a sentinel so I put it as well on this in form right here uh, I'm not planning on keeping this card because I have his 85 like I said I'd rather just use that one and I feel like Milan's gonna push through so it's worth keeping that card in um Hopefully seeing it upgraded. But this guy has been in form uh, for AC Milan the past couple games. Scoring uh, late equalizers and scoring uh, equalizers. Or I mean scoring late winning goals and equalizers in the game. So uh, this guy might be on a road to more in form. So stay tuned for uh, more videos I guess on this guy. But yeah not much action in these nine games in Division 1. Um, I guess not that much people want to challenge him. So I didn't really get to get that much gameplay. So some of the gameplay is mediocre. But it's pretty hard to catch left back gameplay. So I caught whatever I could and showed some of the plays and how he gets exposed. I try to show a little bit of everything. Alright, so now let's get, take a look at his in-game stats. Right here uh, on his card, you see he has 97 pace, but with that in-game stats, it's 95 acceleration with 98 sprint speed. That's beautiful. You could, I guess, max him out with an anchor if you really wanted to. I chose uh, Sentinel because it gives him the 10 plus defensive awareness and 15 heading accuracy and uh, 10 uh, interceptions. I'm not sure exactly what the anchor does uh, by memory, but I know it's not as good as this one. This one focuses more on this. And a shadow focuses somewhat on defensive awareness and somewhat on interceptions. But, uh, I mean, he just has a couple more pace to go. There's no point of maxing it out that much. I feel like 98 sprint speed with 95 acceleration is just fine. But go ahead and uh, do to your heart's desire if you really want to max it out. But um, right here you can see Sentinel. I gave him a plus 10 on interception, so made it 87. He gets a 96 uh, heading accuracy right there. And uh, damn it, is that 96? Yeah, 96 heading accuracy. That's freaking crazy. And defensive awareness, uh, 81. He gets turned to 91. Slide tackling or stand tackling goes from 87 to 92, I believe. Slide tackling goes from 89 to 94. And jumping goes from 66 to 71 or 81, I believe. Jesus, the math is terrible. And stamina, 84. Strength goes to 89. And aggression goes to 91. He's a crazy guy. But I mean, his attacking positioning, if you want to use him as a left wing back, is not bad. He has 83 attacking positioning. Finishing is not amazing, but it's not bad with his shot power being 82. As, as long as you're in the box and you use his left foot, I'm sure he'll score. His long shots aren't that bad. I mean, I'm sure you could boost it with certain chemistry cards, uh, like a marksman or a sniper or something, whatever it is. And uh, shot power is 82. So, I mean, long shot 75, volley 72. Penalties are not the best. Don't recommend taking penalties with them. I think I've tried it. Not the best. Now, vision is 79. His crossing is beautiful at 90. So that helps when you have uh, your wide backs uh, push up or if you have your left wing backs pushing up a lot. This will help and get some of those heading goals if you have a good guy or a guy that has uh, some good heading accuracy inside the box. Free kick accuracy is not the best. Short passing being 88, that's beautiful, but his long passing is dog dookie at 67. His curving is not the best, 71. Agility is pretty nice for a left back. Uh, you want him to do it, be able to do quick turns, especially when you're cornered. He's at 83. You should boost that up if you really feel you need to, but his balance is not the best. Uh, his strength is 84, but I mean... When you have the ball with his balance being 67, you better get rid of it quick because he's going to get pushed off and uh, thrown off balance at that point. So his reaction is 84. That's really good. And uh, ball control 85. That's solid, especially for wide back dribbling 87. I find that solid. And then composure 85. Uh, that has to do with uh, his thought process with the ball either when it comes to scoring, he'll use his left foot or when it comes to passing, he'll use his left foot, at least to my understanding. But yeah, that's pretty much his stats. Uh, now let's go over to some of his uh, player traits. All right, so player traits, he has none. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, if uh, you haven't liked this video, please leave a thumbs up down below. Uh, if you're not gonna subscribe, at least please leave a thumbs up. Leave your mark here on this channel, on this video that you have left a thumbs up and that you visited the great FIFA Beetle channel. 
uh, and that's much appreciated. Happy holidays, and uh, let's get into some of the gameplay. Okay, so I try to put in some of the team uh, that I came up, the teams that I came up against at the beginning of some of the matches. Uh, I only got to put in three matches, even though I played nine matches, because I mean there was not much action, like I told you, for this guy in a nine games. Pretty crazy. But uh, like I said uh, before, or er, uh, going back to the player traits, actually, him having none is pretty ridiculous. This guy should have at least uh, that heading, ac the heading freaking power heading uh, player trait, at least that, and if not, uh, speed dribbler and an early crosser, because that's pretty much what he's been doing in real life in Milan. So maybe that might change by next uh, FIFA. So hopefully he gets some player traits for this guy. But. Uh, from my experience of using this guy, I, I do feel the difference compared to his 85 rated card, his UEFA Euro card. It is a bit different. I feel like the tackling is a bit more solid and the marking is a bit more solid. I do notice the pace, even though I think it's just a difference of like two or, or whatever, two per either acceleration and sprint speed or maybe just one. I do notice it. And um, honestly, he does feel better than the 85 rated card, but I mean, does the price really uh, justify you spending an extra what is it like 60k on this guy maybe 100k uh, honestly no I mean and then you do have a chance of that UEFA Euro card upgrading which I say hold on to it don't get too excited and buy this card um, I mean at halftime if the free if Milan is pretty much about to lose just freaking <laughs> sell him or something but uh, I do feel he's uh, getting Milan's gonna move on to at least I want to say the quarterfinals or the semifinals at, at most. Quarterfinals at least. But uh, you never know. It's a freaking a crazy sport. But yeah, this guy, I mean, uh, the thing, I, it's just, I'm not sure if it's just this play in general. I noticed it with him and Quadrado especially when I would use Quadrado is if somebody does a give and go and you pressure, like as in lunging towards that guy before he passes it and uh, they pass it back to him with a through ball, I mean, you're pretty much done. Uh, once he let go of controlling that player, he will not track back. And that's just a problem with freaking wide backs in this FIFA, especially when you're on like uh, they're on breakaways and you're trying to switch to your wide back. It takes like 10 minutes just to switch to your wide back, or they might not even track back at times or pressure at all. It's just something that's been in the game for like a long time. I don't know what it is, but yeah, be careful if you're an aggressive player like me that likes to push and like as soon as somebody gets the ball and try to push towards them and then you get taken out with a give and go it's a huge problem of mine i should probably stop it but i mean it's just i played like that since what fifa 13 always been really aggressive but anyways this guy's tackling is not bad his cons uh, i would say obviously are is his weak foot being three star i mean it'd be nice if it was four star i mean it i, I feel it's pretty realistic being three star i don't see this guy in real life uses his, uh, his uh, weak foot that often and wide backs really don't have more than three star at most. It's pretty rare for them to have four star or five star at, at the most. That's pretty crazy. But uh, his skills, I mean, he doesn't skill much in real life. So what do you expect? He at least has three stars better than two star. Um, uh, he, I mean, some people like that crazy uh, skilling in the back, but I don't really care for it. I just get rid of it, run forward, pass it, whatever. His long passing is not the best, and that's ground passing. I'm not talking about crossing or... or uh, or lob through passes I mean that's just fine but I mean when it comes to uh, I guess long passes uh, they're, they're not they're not gonna be the best uh, FIFA's just gonna make it look accurate but then he's gonna kick it so far that your players not gonna even be able to reach it and it's just gonna go wide and go out most of the time but uh, you can see right here he catches up pretty uh, fast towards uh, the counter attacks and it kind of stops him and that's one thing that's pretty cool. He could be a safety net, but it, that's only if you're able to switch to him. I, I try to show him I uh, get exposed as much as possible so you could see how he defends and I guess how bad I defend. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, some of his cons. I didn't really find much of it. Uh, much cons, I guess you could say. But his pros, he has uh, more than cons, I believe. Uh, he has. Uh, I remember he had, obviously his speed is the best. He has great speed, acceleration. I wish his acceleration was before his sprint speed because, I mean, it kind of makes him feel a little constipated at times. But this guy actually don't feel as constipated as his last uh, cards. His 85 doesn't feel as bad, but this one kind of clears out the air and kind of, he actually feels his speed at times. Especially uh, on the ball, he feels pretty fast. 
Now, as a crossing is as beautiful, at least on paper. I never really got to experience it yet because I don't really push up with my wide backs too often. It's pretty rare. Unless it's like an, an open freaking run, I'll, I'll run, but then I'll get rid of it quick. Never really cross it. His dribbling was not bad, actually, when it came to uh, running down the wings. His dribbling was actually pretty nice. It wasn't too bad. It was uh, just uh, it was solid, you know. His strength was uh, is pretty cool, too. I did like his strength at uh, bodying some players out. But that's pretty much it with this guy. Yeah, he is. Uh, I do recommend him, but uh, like I said, if you have his 85 rated card, uh, don't bother upgrading. Just be patient. Hopefully that one gets upgraded. I do believe this guy's a Division One quality player. I'm pretty sure you can make some hybrids out of this guy and uh, use them with other players. Uh, 8 out of 10, I give him. Uh, you can see in the right top corner what his current prices are on all gens, Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. Or, I mean consoles, not gens. But yeah, this has been FIFA Beetle. Happy holidays. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay Gucci, not Pucci. Peace out.